The information superhighway has truly come of age when even a chief executive knows how to use it. But the information superhighway, like any highway, is nothing until it has people driving on it. And that's why VIC-1 is so important. It is the on-ramp to make the superhighway work. It shows leadership and vision, and that is why Telstra really wants to be part of it. My colleagues will show you how and why Telstra is VIC-1's best partner. It really is a matter of know-how, on-the-ground experience, proven capacity, the ability to move fast and surely. But from this office, the issue is not just, of just about building infrastructure. It's about using it to the long-term benefit and the competitive advantage of the people and the businesses of Victoria. It's about discovery, about pushing the of technology to serve customers better. And it's about the future, future, about acting now to capture a better future for the state and for its people. VIC-1 is a project that will never be finished. It is a beginning, not something which, thing which is over when the last fiber link is in place. It's just the first stage of construction in the most, most important infrastructure project of the 21st century for Victoria. Already the Victorian government knows what it wants from VIC-1. It wants, wants to open the doors of government for 24 hours every single day. It wants Victorian students, students to start learning now what everyone will need to know in the future. It wants to give, give Victorian students a head start on the rest of the world. The government wants to provide its, its people with services that are cost effective and that translate into brain-based based jobs and economic success. It wants Victoria to showcase, not just for, the, just for the rest of Australia, for the world. That vision lies at the heart of why Telstra wants to be part of VIC-1. Our team for this project owns the same goals, and they have my personal commitment to helping Victoria achieve them. When George Bush asked me to head up the New American Schools Development Corporation several years back, I said yes, but the president's vision was a system that cared about learning outcomes, learning outcomes, not one that wastes time and its energy and the taxpayers' money, money fighting over inputs or endlessly debating processes. My, per my personal passion for an education system that educates kids, one that teaches just them to love learning, hasn't faded one bit. It's stronger than ever. Telstra expertise is, is strong too through our partnership with Learn IT to develop interactive technology in education. High speed internet access to every school is the first step, step in building a center of excellence in education and the best guarantee of Victoria's long term future. Telstra helped Vic 1 vault to the top of the heap. We can deliver connections to 3,000 sites. Six months from the day we start. It's taking North Carolina 10 years to do the same. VIC-1 is about results. It's not about building infrastructure so you can point at it when it's all done, all done and say, gee, that's great, and then go home feeling warm inside. It's about building infrastructure for people to use to deliver greater efficiency, wider, wider access, better services, effective government. It's about leveraging off it's about leveraging off change, not about resisting it. And that's where Telstra's from too. Our networks are not just pits and pipes and switches. They are the pa pathway for people to reach the services they want. They are the trading medium, electro electronic commerce, and the enablers of human communication. Vic One is the right pro project at the right time. Victoria twenty one sets the policy framework work. It shows that this state is not risk averse or complacent. It shows, I think, real leadership. It's no accident that Victoria is the unchallenged center of the region's thriving communications supply sector. And no fluke that Victoria is becoming a magnet for the Netscapes and the Alta Vistas, the companies with the drive and the vision to see where the future is going. Telstra is one of those companies, too. That's why we want in. And that's why we've assigned our team to VIC-1, led by Michael Smith. Thanks, Frank. My team has worked hard to ensure that VIC-1 is ready to become a reality. The plans are in place to make it happen. Both the network, the network rollout and marketing and industry development are ready to go, right now. Doug Campbell oversees the network. 